My journey starts in Lodi, California, where I grew up, and then I went to medical school at Loma Linda, got married, uh, had three kids, and now I'm back to start this emergency medicine residency here in Fresno. I think emergency medicine residents here will have opportunity to do a lot of procedures. Right now that's something that we do as attendings and so we definitely do a lot and we want to teach and pass it on to our residents. There's nothing like teaching a resident a new procedure. That look they get when they do their first central line or put in their first chest tube all by themselves and you're able to be there for that moment and help them. You never forget that moment when you're a resident or a medical student and then you never forget when you actually teach that moment. We have a faculty from very diverse backgrounds, skilled, very interested in teaching. It's just a great privilege to me to be here. We're working in a 436-bed, state-of-the-art hospital. It's really about creating and building a better future for all of us here in the Valley, and that's what's exciting to us. Just being in the Central Valley, you're going to see a real wide range of pathology and a wide range of people. You're going to see migrant workers, homeless people, you're going to see rich farm people, you're going to see a lot of different types of people, a lot of different types of medicine. What's going to be unique about our residents is that they're going to be the first, and that means that they get to be the trailblazers. You're going to have access to all the procedures. You're not going to have any competition. If there's a chest tube, it's yours. If there's an intubation, that's yours. A central line, it's yours. You're going to get first pass at every single procedure. Our curriculum is going to be fairly standard. It's going to have a didactic day every week. You're going to do lectures for about five hours, but we're going to make sure that that time is, is well spent. We're going to do shorter lectures. We're also going to incorporate small group learning, asynchronous learning, and then every third Wednesday we're going to do a simulation day. That's not going to include just simulation, but also any kind of hands-on learning. Our outside rotations in our residency are going to include our pediatric experience, and that's going to be at our strong partnership with Valley Children's Hospital. St. Agnes is really committed to the Valley and the people in the Valley, and this is not an area where we have a lot of excess doctors, so it's really a needed medical care. So one of the reasons that I moved my family back to California was the ability to live in this environment. It's affordable, and I have the ability to have acreage and a farm and have animals and have land, and I can still live in California. It's a really family-oriented place. We do a ton of stuff outside, go to the beach or go to the mountains. There's lots of national parks. And then the community itself is really family focused. I grew up in the Central Valley. So the chance to come back, to share what I've learned and to be a part of this new journey is just beyond exciting and it's fulfilling a lifelong dream.